Hey, everybody. Welcome to First Look. I'm Rome Hartman. The, uh, what? I don't know exactly what my job here is at the Evening News, but um, Katie's not here. I know that's who you uh, tune in to see, but uh, she's out doing an interview on a story, uh, as she often is, working the hardest working person in television news. Um, there are a couple of us in this room who are up there, but uh, she definitely gets the prize. A lot of news today. Uh, an interesting collection of... Uh, of things, uh, so we're going to have a really interesting and lively broadcast. Um, interesting economic news today. Um, r the retail sales figures, the most recent uh, set of retail sales figures, which are not just a, a measure of the way the whole economy is going, but particularly important at uh, this time of year uh, for uh, businesses and individuals who make their living uh, or a big portion of their living off of holiday sales. Anthony Mason is out covering that story, our business correspondent, and we'll, uh, we'll deliver that. And one group of people for whom we know the economy is strong uh, is everyone who works for Goldman Sachs. As, as you probably see, um, year, every year around this time, the big Wall Street firms figure out uh, their, uh, the bonuses that their employees are going to get. And at Goldman, I think it's everybody from you know, the, the person in the mailroom to the managing partner. And I'm pretty sure that the number, the aggregate number of uh, uh, the, the amount of money that Goldman Sachs is going to hand out in uh, bonuses this year is $16 billion. Jump change. <laughs> That's how much their employees uh, uh, are, are going to be dividing and not dividing evenly. I think uh, some of the top people in that firm uh, can expect to see an extra $50 million in their paycheck. I would think it would be considerably less than that for others. but. Uh, it is the beginning of, of Wall Street uh, bonus time, and obviously most Americans, uh, including the Americans in here, uh, don't live in that world, but um, it is an interesting world to observe. So Byron Pitts is uh, working on a story about that. Uh, obviously, we continue to track uh, developments in Iraq and President Bush's continuing deliberations over um, his policy. He's uh, visiting the Pentagon today and hearing from his top generals at the Pentagon about what they think uh, his policy shift ought to be. Um, also some interesting uh, health and medicine news today. Um, we're continuing our series about uh, Alzheimer's uh, and uh, Sharon Alfonsi has a very touching and in some ways tragic story about early onset Alzheimer's. People that uh, uh, we think of it as a disease that just affects uh, people in their 80s or 70s. but. Um, there are a significant number of folks for whom it comes on earlier, and uh, that's the focus of Sharon's story. Also, you uh, may have read or heard uh, that the actor Peter Boyle uh, died. Most recently, people would remember that he uh, had a great recurring role on uh, Everybody Loves Raymond, which was uh, uh, the favorite show of an awful lot of people. Uh, he also, a uh, long time ago, played the monster in uh, Young Frankenstein. So he had a great career and sadly uh, passed away today. But we'll, uh, Jerry Bowen out on the West Coast is uh, working on a story that will remember him. And uh, lots of other interesting stuff. So I hope you'll tune in. Uh, 6.30 on the East Coast for most, in most cities. And uh, uh, check your local listings. And uh, Katie will be back soon enough. Thanks, everybody.